Hey guys, welcome to the first part in my three-part series on the Gale Tuct. So in this one, I'm going to be going over some general advice for the Gale Tuct. Uh, I have been going to the Gaeltuck now for two years in a row in Klaus Lurgan and I'm going back this year as a Kinnerat. So there aren't many resources out there to give you some advice about going to the Gaeltuck for the first time. So I just thought that a quick series might be the best thing to do. So today I'm going to be talking about a quick Gaeltuck survival guide. So I'm going to be going over what to pack, some quick tips for why you're there and some prep that you can do before going to the Gaeltuck to get yourself ready for it. So, in terms of what to pack, a good jacket is essential because it gets very cold sometimes in the Gale Tucked. I went to Colossal Lurgan, might, might be different in other colleges, I'm just going off my own experience. It can get very, very cold, very wet, so you need a good jacket. Uh, also swimming gear for the likes of kayaking or if you go to the beach. Uh, medicine. So when you're there, you can't really get medicine from the Bannon Tea without at, without her calling your parents. So what you need to do is bring the likes of Strepsils and Paracetamol for yourself and hay fever tablets as well, I've been told are good, uh, because odds are there are so many people so close to each other like so for so long in the day that you are probably going to get sick. So having those basic medicines there for yourself just, you know, helps you. So I asked a couple of girls who are in Lurgan for some um, like stuff that they would bring and they were saying bring a hairdryer, a mirror and a small flashlight. Um, the hairdryer and mirror, fairly self-explanatory, the tiny flashlight for if you're at a college where they take the phone off you so that at night you'll be able to use that to find stuff without waking up your whole room. Now you're also going to want to bring clothes for theme nights. So some themes for Kaylee's might be uh, county colours, they might be wearing a certain colour t-shirt, they might be cross dress, might be pyjamas. So just, you know, think, maybe ask a couple of people who you know have gone to the college that you're going to go to and see what kind of themes they have at the Kaylee's just so that you can be a little bit prepared for it. And speaking of clothes, my last piece of advice for what to pack is bring every item of clothing that you have because you're only going to be able to use the uh, washing facilities for clothes once, maybe twice in a course. So when it's leading up those last few days before the wash day, you start to run out of clothes because obviously you're doing activities all day so then you kind of want to change your clothes after that so that you can go out to the Kaylee. So you're almost going through about two outfits a day some obviously it's a little less but if you don't bring all the clothes you have you're gonna run out of clothes by the time that you get towards wash day so just bear that in mind when you're packing lots of socks lots of underwear just as much as you can bring so just a couple of quick tips when you're actually at the college so when you're at the college sometimes you can feel a little bit sick or a little bit down and that especially comes into effect if you're not eating well. So eating lots of fruit, lots of vegetables, really helps you if A, you're feeling sick, it'll help prevent that or prevent the symptoms, and B, you always just feel better, you have more energy to do all of the activities if you're eating healthily as well. So just wherever possible, if you're able to go across to the shop or something like that, buy some fruit for a couple of days just to be sure that you're able to have it. And then if you can like, I don't know, get access to fruit in a college shop, just be sure that you're eating that over eating junk food because junk food won't give you the same revitalizing properties as fruit will. So yeah, just try and eat healthily while you're there. So this one is kind of in the same vein. Drink a lot of water while you're there. Bring like a good size bottle or buy one while you're there and just drink as much water as possible because, again, it will stop you from getting sick and also it will give you more energy, it will keep your skin clear and you know what, it's just generally better. So 
There are always places that you can fill your water bottle, so try to drink maybe two, two and a half, three liters a day, just to make sure that you're energized and that you're at your best for a while, so you can enjoy your time while you're in the gale tent. So my last kind of tip for while you're there is don't wear all of your nice clothes at once. So when I went my first year, I had a habit where I would wear all of my kind of nicer clothes at the start of the course. And then as it got kind of towards wash day again, I had basically run out of clothes and I didn't have any nice clothes to wear to discos or Kaylee's and also I just basically ran out of clothes. So just save your nice clothes. The Gale Turk isn't a fashion show, so just save them for like when you're going to a disco or something like that, if your college has discos. But that's one thing that you definitely need to be aware of. Gale Turk, not a fashion show, just, you know, wear comfortable clothes for, during, for doing your activities and stuff like that and don't be like conscious really of what you're wearing. So just now, if you're sitting at home thinking, is there something that I can do to get ready for the Gale Tucked? Um, some stuff that you might want to do is there's a great app that Lurgan did called Ida, where you can go over some basic conversational Irish. If you feel like your Irish isn't up to scratch and you want to work on it, then use that. It's a great little tool. You record what you're saying, you listen to it back, and then you repeat it over and over again until like you're able to say everything properly. And it also gives you like feedback based off of your, it gives you like tests and stuff like that. It's good. So if you want to practice your Irish, I would suggest that, or go to your Irish teacher and ask for some basic phrases to work on. Honestly, the Irish out there is not that difficult. It's all fairly conversational. So if you're worried about that, don't be, but if you want to do something about it, I would suggest using Ida or going to your Irish teacher. And one other thing that I would suggest, in the run-up to going to the Gale Tucked, I would suggest getting a lot of sleep, because when you're actually there at the college, you don't get much sleep because you're staying up and chatting to the people in your room. So unless you want to be shattered about halfway through the course, I would suggest just getting some really good night's sleep in the week leading up to leaving for the college and then that way you're fresh for longer throughout the course. So guys, that was a very basic survival guide to the Gale Tucked. Uh, Dara made a good video on what to pack for the Gale Tucked, so maybe go check that out as well if you don't feel like I covered it that well. Um, and then the next part in the series is going to be what to expect when you go to the Gale Tucked. So be sure to check that out, it should be up a week after this. So yeah, I hope that this is kind of persuading everyone to go to the Gale Tucked. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, like and sub down below, it would be greatly appreciated.